photography. Take a lot of pictures and hope one of them hits the target. That's how I started out early on in my career. I just hoped something magical would leap off the contact sheet and delight me. The truth is, back then, I didn't know what was going to work and what wasn't. Things are different today. Now, I know what I've got even before I click the shutter. You know what? I still take a lot of pictures. It's the first of what I'll call the professional photographer's secrets. Take a lot of bad pictures to get a handful of good ones. Here are six consecutive frames I took at the Taj Mahal. In the foreground, seven people worked to clean the pools. It was a challenge to keep track of each and every one of them, so I clicked the shutter whenever any of them struck a pose that attracted my attention. I never saw the birds on the ground as they were hidden in the shadows, but in an instant, there they were. And in another instant, they were gone. Thankfully, I took a lot of pictures, and I got this. I was in Paris in the Louvre in 2002, and I was taking pictures of people interacting with Mona Lisa. I decided to stop taking pictures and I just let my camera hang from my neck and I stepped back from the painting and just was having a look at the room and this woman walked in front of me. So I lifted my camera and I snapped off two pictures. I've never met the woman, I have no idea who she is, but it's one of the most amazing pictures I've taken. And I got it because my camera was on and at the ready and that's the next professional photographer's secret. I was in Peru when this llama sauntered past me, walked up to the edge of the cliff, and gazed regally out over the ruins of Machu Picchu. I was only able to fire off a few bracketed shots before the llama moved on. Had I not had my camera slung around my neck, loaded with film, turned on and at the ready, I would have missed the shot. I was in Burma at Inlay Lake. The sun was low and at my back, it was magic hour. Here's this guy coming at me on a water buffalo. By the time he reached me, I thought I had the perfect shot. But then when he passed me, I took some more pictures. The lesson was simple and is now my third professional photographer's secret. The best picture might be behind you. The fourth and final professional photographer's secret is to know your stuff. Get away from the television. Get away from the internet. Cozy up with your instruction manual for as long as it takes. Read every single page. Make sure you understand what's on each page before you turn to the next page. Look, I'm about as instruction manual adverse as they come. But in these days of complicated, computer-driven cameras with all these buttons and dials and programs, I did it. And I humbly suggest you do the same. And the bonus professional photographer secret, there's one more, never stop learning. Go back through your pictures and find the ones that didn't work. Learn from your mistakes. So the next time you're out shooting, remember those pictures and don't make the same mistakes again. Make new ones. That's the fun part. That's how we learn. Photography, most of all, is meant to be fun. So I offer you this one last piece of advice. Remember to enjoy yourself. When you're out taking pictures, let us hear the music that you hear. And when you do that, you're on your way to becoming a brilliant photographer. To recap, the professional photographer's secrets include taking a lot of pictures, keep your camera ready, looking behind you. Remember, keep learning and always, always have fun. And remember, a tourist walks by an interesting scene and takes a snapshot, but a photographer breaks out the lenses and his imagination and gets to work.